From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What my you mother suffered wrote me. is beyond I need imagining. Your You're very kind. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very no pleased with herself. How did you respond? Why would she say that? Was full of mirth as she She's said spreading it. lies on me. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not what would important. I say? I cannot uh, afford uh, any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. So you want me to lie? That's you saying? See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Look his ass. He can't wait to go tell on somebody. Can't You'll say be fine. nothing around him. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. You know, just like when you're trying to apply for a job and they saying, you know, how do you feel Good about luck. this and that? You got to answer in a certain way. That's pretty much what she's saying. Not what you really feel, but what you feel to get that job. <laughs> Look at the little man. I already know what that is. You can do this. Okay, I gotta walk up there myself. I like this little fat guy. Y'all watch me walk through, huh? Y'all watch me walk through just like these good people on YouTube watching ah, me Lady do this walk through. Aren't you looking lovely this evening, Lord Tyrion? Your Grace? With your permission, she is such a bitch. allow me to introduce so Lady evil. Mira of House Forrester. Stand tall, bow your head, kneel before. We'll kneel. Your Grace. The Queen is Girl pleased. Her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? I guess they Perhaps are. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Sir Forrester. King Joffrey. He's not here, is he? She the is. The one true king, our loyalty. The girl can speak never for wavers. her house. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. I see. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They're not traitors. They were, uh... They are noble, not traitors, Your Grace. Noble? Perhaps once. For a northern house. But now, now they're merely dead. She always try to get a reaction out Is of people. Is your house willing to swear fealty like to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Also, sir, the Starks, absolutely. He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. He sounds just like himself, guys, on the show. Old I wonder if they get not uh, easily abandoned. the actor to voice act. But now yeah. that the war is the over, actor, we must I mean. look to rebuild and forge new alliances. 
There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on her. She Forrester. sounds like herself, too. Foster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Mm, yes, Your Grace. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate. I want this under myself. House yes, anything. There are limits, Your Grace. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. I won't judge her. She's only following her heart. She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point, you're trying to say she a hoe. I hope you find it quick. You trying to say, Cersei? Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Why she the king, the queen, slick cap? Within their hearts. That's a new name. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let girl I'm loyal. Uh, Go on. Be true to the king. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. Good. You, you don't need to figure me out. I won't get back on that I'd like a word with you seat over there you that you were sitting at. Of course, Your Grace. Just sitting self. That ain't make sense what I just said, guys, so don't even worry about it. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannis Bolt. Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences Thank for his Thank you, Lord Tyrion. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first to impression. Her. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. Okay, cool. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats mm. need wood. And I speak for the crown in this family. regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Uh, it may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. 
Three beautiful bottles of Dornish so wine. Again. Wait, Thanks rider. for the advice. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. <laughs> that was so cool talking to Tyrion. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei Not so great. Looking at Rather you, not so discuss it. Mm. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. <laughs> what? It's true. Is that your version of Dirty Talk? And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. He's I'm quite told handsome. he has a paramour. You'll get us in trouble. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look For my family, if I want and to be queen, And he's always treated Lady Marjorie to well. Joffrey. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd be willing to marry. But not Joffrey. That dude, he's he's such an ass. Yeah, guys. I would marry I mean, him. Ultimate. Imagine the power you would have as Asshole. queen of the seven kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. <laughs> Sir Bronn uh... and what are you doing? I'm well, sorry, my lady. I was doing nothing. We were Sarah, just having fun. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. Yeah. This is not a game. You messed up your scene, it's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. Just don't don't be mad I'm at me, Marder. I hate to say that stuff. Not that lady is. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Sir is right. Only a matter of smart. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. It's something, something on my mind. It's, oh, I'm gonna ask, ask for help. Do not ask for help. I think we're gonna ask for help, guys. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak alone. Sarah may stay. I prefer to speak with you alone. Get out of here, Sarah! Excuse yourself! Look at her, she upset. I can't get the eavesdrop on the conversation. No, you can't, honey. Go on. Alright, can you stop Ramsey? My mother needs Ask. our help. Could drop her. 
Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. I've been your dad. Please, I beg of you. It is that dire. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't fear Cersei. This is the only way. The door by the king. Uh. Don't let the queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. <laughs> Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a it's raven about to my the family counts. at once. Kind of like my little character right here. You know, she 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 making moves, guys. <laughs>